was not fun. Annette it Melcher has never worked. been so happy to do the dishes. You don't know what you miss when you don't have it. Hers is one of 12 households in a Niagara Falls neighborhood that has been dealing with no water for a week. And with the tap now running again, the mood at the Melcher residence is much happier than across the street at Antoinette Venute's house. Well, I'm disgusted. She was the first to lose her water last week, and it's still not on. On top of that, she spent $1,200 out of her own pocket for a plumber who told her there was nothing he could do. He worked for two days, and they steam uh, blew the pipes, and they got they came in and told us they got as far as the curb, they could go no further. It was now the city's problem. But in fact, finding the source of the problem has turned into a real problem. The Niagara Falls Water Board wrote residents a letter telling them by law the frozen pipes are their responsibility. But Mayor Paul Deister hired a plumber on a limited state of emergency to thaw the pipes before this week's storm and hopefully find the cause. We don't know what it is, but we believe there's a systemic cause for this. But neighbors living up and down these streets have a theory. About three years ago, the city redid this street, and they suspect the water lines were not properly insulated. I think the way they reconfigured it caused the problem. The city officials, are, they're skirting the issue, but they know what's wrong. And that's why they put out this contract with these people. And at 87 years old, living at her 72nd Street home for 63 years without a problem like this, Antoinette says it's time to make it right. Mayor Dicer says the priority will be to keep the water running through the winter and then at that point address the root of the problem. Lou, these poor people. And if you hired your own plumber to do it, will they get reimbursed from the city? Yeah, you heard that lady say she spent $1,200 yeah. already. Some have spent even more. And what Mayor Dicer is saying that is they should keep their receipts. He can't promise that they'll be reimbursed, but they can present those receipts to the water board and to the city after they figure out what caused the problem.